Darren, we play our final game of what's been a pretty hectic first month of the season tomorrow afternoon. How's the mood been in training going into this one? Yeah, no, listen, you've asked me this question every week, haven't you? And the mood in the camp's no issue. I think we've, we've got a happy group of players that are, that are trying the best they can. Uh, I see it day in, day out. We've had a couple of bumps along the way this first month um, where we've let ourselves down a little bit. Obviously, most recently, the, the first half against Torquay where, you know, we just wasn't good enough Simply, you know uh, our standards uh, uh, have been set and we, and we fell short of them standards so it was disappointing but a huge plus with the character shown in the second half so the mood's been alright the, mood, the, the mood's always been alright if anything it's just one of a little bit of frustration that we haven't you know maybe picked up one or two more points you know of the four draws two of them I'd maybe say were, were drop points and two of them were maybe gained points could you look at tomorrow's game to sort of measure the success of the first month where if we pick up three points tomorrow, you think, OK, yeah, maybe we take half the first month, but if we don't, then maybe we could have done a bit better in other games? Yeah, and that's the fine line in football, isn't it? You know, if we go to Eastley tomorrow and win, then, then, then we can be satisfied um, with the first month of the season mm. based on the injuries and, and you know, it's, it's incredible how much how many injuries we pick up at this club. Um, still haven't managed to work out why and how, but it just seems to hang, hang over us. So we've managed to adapt as a, as a group of players. You know, one or two of them in particular have been very good playing out of position. Um, so we can be, if we get the win tomorrow, we can be satisfied um, with, with the first month of the season based on that. But... You know, if it doesn't go our way, then you know it'll be looked upon as a as a disappointing start. Which you know I, I get that as well because we've got you know myself and Junior, we've got high standards for ourselves, we've got high standards for the group of players we're with, and we want to be successful. So we're certainly striving to be better. Um, just obviously one or two things have gone against us a little bit this month. We go to Eastleigh tomorrow. We've had a bit of a mixed bag since the start of the season. What are you expecting to see from them? Listen, Strebs is a very good friend of mine. I thought he'd done incredible last year with what he'd done. He's had to rebuild in the summer. Um, and he, he's a proper football guy. And, you know, they'll be lifted from their result at Solihull. Um, they're, they're a big side. So, obviously, we need to be switched on with set pieces and that. So, I expect that to be... Their moments in the game to be difficult moments. But, you know, if we're concentrated and we're... And, we all do our jobs, then you know. Hopefully, we come through them moments. But um, I'm looking. I, I'm looking for more of what we produced in the second half against Torquay, um, in terms of energy and endeavour and commitment to what we was trying to do, and a, a sprinkle of some of the quality play that we've had in in other games as well. Because you know, although we haven't got the amount of points on the board that we we were hoping for. Um, statistically and trust me I don't always go on statistic, statistics but they are in our favour the, the one that I want to improve is obviously the goal tally and certainly the amount of attempts on goal there's no, there's no doubt that's, that's, that's key for any, any team so we need to improve on that um, and what we need to do is show the type of work ethic and commitment that we had in the, in the second half against Torquay, uh, along with, with, with some of our play that we've had in the, in the first month. And, you know, we'll give ourselves a chance and, and we'll go there confident. We've spoken about it following the game the other day. How important is it that we do get off to a fast start again? Make sure we don't concede in that first 10 minutes. What's been said about that? Yeah, I mean, like... we've, we've had to do some work on it this week. We've had to... We've had to touch on it, you know, it's, it's been the last three games where we've conceded early. So, you know, we've, we've spoke about focus and concentration and um, maybe a slightly different ga game plan that will, that will allow us to sort of get a foothold in the game. Um, but it's certainly something we have to address. We, can, we cannot keep conceding early in games and giving ourselves a mountain to climb because, 
you're not always going to climb the mountain.